Your Master 2, 116681. This watch is actually quite nice because it comes from the famous hotel, The Wind, the Encore from Las Vegas. Uh, just bought it off a client, so cool piece. Wonder what your chances of getting one of these at retail would be now. You pay for what you yeah. get, really. So you buy a newer watch, you'll pay a bit more. If you buy an older one, you'll pay, you'll pay less. Ones are a um, bit more than 11. Yeah. Um, you've got the blue, gray, and the black. Yeah. These usually start from 11.5 upwards. Yeah. So for example, something like that, 2017 would be like 11.5. That's the new shape. If you wanted the old shape, you'd probably pay around like 10.5. These are the older shape subs. Yeah. Um, these ones you can get sort of around the 10K mark. Yeah. This one's a 2004. It's 10.5. Mm -hmm. If you went for an older one, like a 1997, 1999, you'd yeah. pay like 9.8. Your future customer of ours, he's 21st birthday in September. Not necessarily buying today, but he wanted to come in, try some on, make sure that he does pick the right one when he does collect. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll be seeing him in September for his 21st birthday. Summer 22 is here. The borders are now open, so there's no excuses. You can go away now. Miami season, as I like to say, Cuban season, hit us up. Deals every day, deals for days. Uh, with, with a close friend of ours, um, maybe interested in his Pepsi. Uh, see what else there's Jubilee, Batgirl, Blue Skies. So, uh, no joy just of yet. Obviously, the watches have gone up. Asking too much money, don't get me wrong, it's worth what it's worth. But to the end user, we're trying to get a deal. We saw the chandelier that we sold years ago. What rocked up in Hatton Gardens. Let's see if they can sell it. 2020 old card. Old card. Still um, barcode or stickers. For me, if it's not the olive, it has to be this. Nothing else. If it's not chocolate or olive, I don't want it. Guys. I'm not giving up. We're gonna get a deal done today. I've got, I've got a feeling it's coming. Like this. It's better you. Pretty sick of Rose Gold Daytona 2021. I've got one. Not 21. I've got 216, yeah, 17. Right. And the non ceramic Daytona. APH. Yeah. That is fucking. That is so cute. Did you get it polished? I didn't get it polished, yeah, it came to me absolutely battered. I've got, I've got about five in stock. I've got about five in stock, and they're all double quick. Oh, Single quick. Okay. With papers? With papers, still in Ian Gold. And what year is that? 2007. I remember when they were £8,000, and I turned one down. Still, it's going to stick around for a bit. Let's see what the guy with the RBR says, if he gets back to us with a good price. Obviously, the sports models, we, we took a look at a few, with the Kermits, the GMTs, Pepsis. They're a bit too dear for my liking, personally. Uh, so we're gonna hold fire on the sports models for a second, but let's see if we get a bite on the RBR. And let us know what you think. Is it the olive or is it the chocolate? VIP drop off, that's Charlie Sloth. We have T minus 12 hours to get him the watch. He's on a flight tomorrow at 7 a.m. to Dubai. The time is started, 12 hours to deliver two watches to him and potentially part exchange one of his watches back. So stay posted, Rio's gonna go. Um, yeah man, this is what we do for our clients. Oh, 
Fourth for the fifth, 2022, stainless steel, Jubilee, date just 41, grey rhodium, diamond dial. Available in Trotters today for 12,500. Like I said, hasn't been worn, two days old, fresh. This is fucking stress, man, trying to find these watches. Mate, it has to be a 2021 watch. Yeah, that's all he wants, minimum 2021. All right, let me know. So I think I've got this Cartier Skelly for him, the stainless steel one. Uh, I want to make sure I get a Charlie, a 2021 one, new as possible I can get, um, but yeah. Fingers crossed this one comes through, it's looking good. So, clock is still ticking. We have finally sourced the two watches that Charlie's after in, I think it's, we've got seven hours until he flies from Dubai. So we've now, man like Rio is now gonna go meet Charlie on the way to the airport. Uh, we're gonna meet him, um, drop him off, cause he's off to Dubai. Uh, we're cutting it fine. We better get going, stay posted. Uh, Rio's gonna drop them off. Uh, and yeah, man, we're gonna take a part exchanging from Charlie from a previous watch he's bought from us. So yeah, stay posted, see what he part exchanges, because that watch will be available to buy. Um, so you could own Charlie's old watch. Um, but yeah, stay posted, let's see if we make it. Hi guys, welcome to yet another video. Today, I'm gonna to show you the AP collection. So the special pieces here, uh, from skeletons to the normal beginner's AP. We'll start through one by one, and we'll go through them, and I'll tell you a little bit about them. So you've got here the 15400 ST, followed by the gray, and the blue, these are all the same models, all 15400 references, just different dial colors. They vary from around 45 to 50,000. If you're going for a more of a blue dial, you may pay in excess of around 70,000 in today's market. After that, you've got something special. You've got the Audemars PK Royal Oak Chronograph. This is a 38 millimeter uh, with the gray rhodium dial. This is a special watch, don't see this so much. You probably won't see this from another dealer in London. So in the last sort of year, I'd say this was around 25 to 30,000. This is now in excess of around 60 to 65,000. Special piece, really nice. And then we go again with something more special. You've got the stainless steel AP Royal Oak chronograph on the rubber. This is the Pride of Italy edition, which is a limited pieces of around 500, I believe. They will be in excess of probably around 60,000 now. Many of you have probably seen these before. The Royal Oak Offshore chronograph. This is what they call the elephant. This is a custom Horace bracelet on this. It does come with a hornback leather strap. We, was buying the, we used to buy these for fun, go back four or five years ago, I was buying these all day long and just taking the dial out, taking the inner bezel out and diamond setting them 20 to 25,000. This is the AP Royal Oak Foundation model. 400 pieces worldwide, I believe, but very, very, very limited. So this piece was added to our collection probably around 10 years ago now. Um, paid not a lot for it at all. At the time it was, it was quite expensive, um, but when you compare it to now, it's actually a very fair price. 
I think we see one online with no box or papers. I think it's around a hundred thousand pound mark. Flipping it up a little bit. This is the AP Royal Oak Jumbo Ultra Fin 39mm. Probably, in my opinion, one of the best bracelets to have. Sorry, the best sort of fit on the wrist um, due to its sort of slim nature. Skeleton case back as well. It's on this is a stunning watch. Car, these are now probably anything from around the hundred to 125,000 in the year in condition. But this is a stunning watch. So this is a special piece. Um, the white gold frosted all the PK Royal Oak Chronograph. A stunning, stunning watch. Agreed, it's definitely not for every day. Uh, we've had this watch now for around, we've had, we've had this watch now for around two years, maybe a little less. We've never worn it. That's how it's retained its sharpness. And obviously I wouldn't like to think of if this bracelet dinked or got scratched, I wouldn't like to think of how much it would cost to repair it. Not saying that she put off the, the end user, but from a sale perspective, we just don't want to wear it, because we don't want to damage it, because it is for sale. 200 pieces worldwide. I mean, look at the purple dial. What's actually available worldwide, this is probably one of the rarest. This is worn by the likes of Kevin Hart, LeBron James, Mark Wahlberg, them sort of figures. So like, big Hollywood players are sort of, have, have managed to sort of get this watch. Um, but oh, it's just what I watch. And then after that, you've got something very special again. So this is the Black Ceramic AP Royal Oak Perpetual Calendar. We had the white ceramic version of this in lockdown. I was asking, I got, I think we sold it for 125,000, 135,000. You'll pay today for one of these around 250 to 300,000 pound. A real nice watch. Not just one we sort of we're reluctant to sell, but if the right bid's there, we'll sell it. The stainless steel Royal Oak skeleton. A very, very, very desirable piece. Today's price, 220,000 plus. So popular, it's been around, it has been around for around eight to ten years now. This is actually a 2021 with box and papers, unworn, really, really sharp. These were 12 years ago, these were 12 to 10, 12 years ago. These were like 30,000 back when the base model, like this one here, I spoke about earlier, was around eight to ten. That was 35. So you're thinking, well, it weren't that much difference compared to how it is now, but then. 35, 12 years ago, you could have got, you could have got Patex, you could have got any Daytona, you could have got any Rolex, you could have got a platinum Daytona, you could have got a lot. People were thinking, probably thinking, well, I can get a platinum Daytona for 30,000, well, I'm going to spend 35,000 on a stainless steel watch. Uh, for the people who did, congratulations, you've done well. Um, for the people who didn't, and hummed it hard here. Uh, Unfortunately, yeah, you could have been sitting on a nice little, little sort of gold mine there. But again, very popular, available today with box and papers. So along with this one, we've also got this one. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure you've seen this on the channel and on the on the uh, page on Instagram. A lot of people was like, "Well, why are you paying so much for a sticker? You know, for a one sticker and a watch?" But this also, it's not just always about the sticker. This isn't just this isn't just a sticker that goes over it. What anyone can put on it. This is a seal put on there by AP. So the seal goes all the way around past the clasp. You can't actually open it. So as well as being unworn, it's never been, the clasp has never been opened. It's never been put on the wrist. Um, it's been kept in a safe for so long. It's, listen, it's, 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 it's a shame that obviously it hasn't been worn, but this is part of the game. This is this is it. There's, there's millions of watches out there with, with stickers and seals on them. It means a lot. Again, that is available if the price is right. Um, it's nice to have in the collection. It's a shame we can't wear it, but it's still nice. Last but not least, I thought I'd say this one to last because it's a special piece. Absolute mint condition, completely sharp. The rose gold, all my PK, skeleton, 
41 millimeter. This is just an absolute toll. These were like 50 to 60 once upon a time. Now in excess of around 275 to 300,000. So that guys finishes off this video for the AP collection. Again, 89% of these are for sale. So if you like any, please get in touch. But what's your favorite one? What would you like to wear and why? Uh, if I'm choosing any in here at the moment for an everyday wear, I'm probably going to choose the stainless steel skeleton. Um, and then as a party watch, probably got the frosted. I know you're probably looking at that, but come on. Find me another one. Show me another deal who's probably got one of these in the UK, they have not um, So yeah, let me know what you like, let me know what you fancy. And that is Trotter's AP Collection. Minus four hours, so can't wait to get there. On route now, stay tuned. Just on route now, so let's see how it goes. Fast well on. Oh, that's sexy, that ain't it? Let's try that one. Let's see. One of two, now we're on to the Plain Jane stainless Cartier skeleton. <laughs> Little top up before I go back to Dubai. Big, big box. This is my subtle watch. Yeah, man, this is. <laughs> yeah, I need an extra link on that. 100. Look at that. Size of my wrist, bro. <laughs> Massive, mate. Trials for life, mate. Trials for life. Come on, you know what it is. Woo! <laughs> Successful trip. Just met Charlie Sloth. Lovely, lovely guy. So thank you, Charlie. It's been a successful trip. Hope to do business with you again. Safe flight to the buyer. Pow. Man, we'll get up and finger in the CCTV. That was sick. I don't know that. Oh, I'm fighting, mate. Oh, right. I'm saying, don't do that. Like, <laughs> I could do the mad pose, right? That's the one, cuz. Right, now run out of photos.